How would you guys assess them, uh, how you handled the third period and their push there? Uh, you know, I think we played the right way. Uh, you know, it was all about, you know, not sitting back, but uh, keeping pressure on them. And you know, I think we did a good job gaining zones and, uh, you know, still staying aggressive while playing smart. Having gone from not making two men on camp to fourth line to now getting a lot of minutes on the second line, where do you, what do you attribute like that rise to? I've kind of just been like that, you know, my whole career, uh, you know, ever since, since junior, just getting an opportunity. I, you know, I've, I've kind of elevated my game with, you know, where I'm playing, who I'm playing with. And, um, you know, it's it's a lot to be said, I think, about that. I think, you know, it's something I just I work hard and, and try to, you know, play, not change my game, but, you know, just keep playing with confidence and try to, uh, you know, try to just be reliable. You have three goals in your last nine games. What do you feel like is kind of underlying factor there and you having some success in scoring? Uh, I think opportunity. I think uh, you know, opportunity. Some confidence is kind of building. You know, I think I'm you know I'm working on a lot of stuff, and I'm trying to you know develop my game every day. And uh, I think you know just to, to get rewarded with that is uh, you know even better for the confidence. So I think it's going to be you know just kind of keep getting better and better. You kind of made the name for yourself for being a tough player in many different areas of the game. Do you feel like Tortorella's style is also helping bring you out? One hundred percent. You know, I think uh, you know I know what he wants and for me and. Um, you know, it's a straightforward, simple game. Uh, you know, four check, create turnovers, and you know, play in the ozone, try, try to create momentum. So, um, you know, if I can do that night in and night out, I think, uh, you know, I think it's just going to help me. So, I'm just going to keep trying to do that. How characteristic was your goal of just that work ethic, not just from you, but also from your the other two players? Well? Yeah, no, it was a great, uh, you know, sustained pressure shift. Um, you know, just getting the puck behind their D. And, Turning it over, getting pucks to the net, and you know it's nice uh, when you get a look like that and it goes in. So uh, yeah, I think we just got to keep keep going that way. Is Nick Sealer blocked a shot to send the puck in that direction. What was it like, like seeing him step up like that, and did that kind of cheer him up? Oh, uh, you know, I think we have a lot of heart in this room from guys, you know, guys that lay it on the line, and uh, you know, Seals, he's one of them. You know, night in, night out, he's not afraid of you know of anything. He's a warrior out there. The same with. You know, other guys like Lott and Wade, Allison, you know, those guys are just laying their body on the line for the good of the team. You know, that's what you need to be a good team in this league, and then, you know, those guys are happy to do it. Why was it important to end out this road trip? Uh, yeah, no, you know, to, to get two points in this road trip, you know, I think it's it's great for us going back home, um, you know, kind of snap out of that kind of little funk we were in. Uh, you know, to, it just makes it a good road trip to finish off.